Well, greetings, humble boys, girls, and of course, gifted animals. How are you today? I'm doing well. Been on a little work trip, so alas, I am I'm making my return to the great hurricane-ridden state of North Carolina. Now, where was I, you might ask? Well, I was farming potatoes out in Idaho and then uh, decided to make a trip to Cincinnati. Um, I don't know what industry is there, honestly. I mean, it's a nice city, but uh, you know, I can't, can't tell you fine folks what I was doing, but I imagine they had some oil fields, and that's what I was doing. So uh, either way, what are we doing? Well, Papa's got a new creation now, and uh, it's a pan pizza. Yeah, coming over the dark side of Pizza Hut. Uh, very curious about this, honestly. What are we drinking tonight? Um, we're drinking Evan Williams. Yeah, nothing special, but that's all I got right now. Very good. So, you know, I kind of was curious about uh, kind of what was going on with this. Um, just kind of randomly saw it pop up, and, you know, I'm watching... Um, some American football. Right now, Miami versus Florida State. My team played yesterday, and, uh, you know, we were victorious, as is tradition. Only recently, though. And, um, yeah, this comes with a different sauce, allegedly. When you're ordering it online, it says, you know, you can get the pan sauce, or you can get the regular sauce. And so, I, you know, I was kind of curious about that, so we'll see if it tastes any differently. Um, just kind of first impressions. It looks kind of burnt. Yeah. I don't know. Let me be skeptical. Let's try it out. I almost forgot. How much did it cost? Well, $10, which is not that bad of a deal. Uh, they're trying to trick me, though, on the website. Whenever I logged in, it said 12 something and Then I looked at specials, and it was $10. So I don't know if it's the same with your papa, but my papa was trying to, you know, pull a fast one. It's hot. Hmm. I'm trying to taste the difference between the sauce. First of all, the crust is, you know, the, the typical pan pizza that is from the big three that I generally compare things to uh, is, of course, Pizza Hut. Now, Pizza Hut's normal pizza is pan pizza, and then they kind of ventured out into, you know, Papa John's regular pizza. So there's all different kinds of pizzas out there. But, you know, when, when you're actually talking about a pan pizza, you kind of expect the buttery kind of uh, bottom, you know? I mean... And by bottom, I mean crust. Uh, but this one doesn't really have a buttery type of flavor. It's just kind of burnt. And the sauce is kind of bland. Now, Papa John's generally has... You know, a sweeter sauce, but it's a good sauce, I think, personally. A lot of people don't like it. A lot of people say that, you know, they put too much of it on there. Um, you know, this one is, you know, a little bit evenly, more evenly proportioned than they, they generally uh, allocate on their, their you know, pizza pies. But I can't, you know, I can't speak sometimes. I mean, I'm just stuttering. You know, I'm just you know, road weary, I suppose. Back at it, though. Just have to reset sometimes, and as you know, even though we have a crack production crew, uh, we do not edit generally. That was the first flavorful bite of the sauce that I've had, and what do I mean by that? Well. It's kind of a bland sauce. It's definitely not as flavorful as their normal sauce. Uh, definitely not as sweet. 
little bit more, you know, tart. That's not the right word, but, you know, a little bit more zest to it. You know, I don't particularly know, you know, what causes that difference, but it does taste somewhat similar to Pizza Hut, at least. Some remarkable, though. As for the pepperoni, I mean, nothing's changed there. As for the cheese, nothing's really changed there either. There's a little bit less of it on here. I don't know if you can kind of see, but it's a little bit less of cheese, but... Hmm. Don't have napkins. Shocker. My production crew. Sleep at the wheel. It's like, what do I do with my hands? They are kind of greasy, but I guess what I'm trying to say about this is it doesn't have a pan pizza taste. I expect a little bit buttery type of crust. I expect a very crisp crust. This is burnt, but kind of soft still. So, you know, I don't know if there needs to be some tweaking there or, you know, something of the sort, but, uh, you know, Uncle's not impressed, and usually Papa Jay does a good job in my book. That's a pretty exclusive book. If y'all heard that, once again, that was my phone, but I didn't place it near the recording device. It's over there, though. Can't, can't win. So what do I rate this? Well, Papa, price is okay. You try to trick me, but the price is okay nonetheless. You know, I mean, I just think you could have done a better job. Um, doesn't really taste like a pan pizza. It kind of tastes like a blander version of your own pizza that has a different kind of crust, but nothing spectacular. So we're going to have him rated a a five point one two seven. Yeah, I mean it's worth it just because it's new. Uh, price is good. But uh, as for a pizza, um, I think burnt cardboard may may have a, a run on this. Just kidding. This is still going to be fine. I'm curious how it tastes, you know, next day. But uh, alas, it is what it is. Anyway, I do hope all's well. Of course, I'm rambling on. I just haven't seen you folks in a while. So God bless. Hope to see you again. And as always, you take care. Till next time.